AK. Number 
Today, we are going to enlighten you on who Malam Al Hassan Muhammad Guni is and what he does. To some people, Malam is not human because of the kind of miracles he performs. Malam Al Hassan Muhammad Guni is human just like you, but some still wonder how real his healing gifts are. But you know what they say seeing is believing. These miracles he performs are inspired by the Holy Quran, his praying beads, and just ordinary water. If you are not comfortable with his water, you can bring your own personal water. When Malam is performing his miracles, he doesn't use any substance. It is the same water that you bring that he uses to heal you. People have different illnesses and people have different ways of treating these illnesses. Yes, we all pray to God for healing, and for some people, God's response is instantaneous. But to some others, it is delayed for reasons best known to Him. For this reason, some people have concluded that Malam does contradict the will of God, 
Also, some people are of the opinion that Malam Al Hassan Mohammed Guni is diabolic. But it is not true because whatever he does is in the open. No secrecy. He has helped more than a million people going from village to village, state to state and to other countries. God has blessed some people with healing powers and God is pleased with us when we pray to him and he loves to fulfill our desires. Whenever Malam Al Hassan Mohammed Guni goes to a place to perform miracles, he prays first and he asks everyone present to pray along and by the grace of God the prayers are answered. After the prayers, he brings out his Quran and praying beads after which he goes around sprinkling water on people. But some people actually feel the water is not pure and that Malam is either a herbalist or a magician. If you get to such conclusion, you do not only offend Malam, but you are also offending God. Malam Al Hassan Mohammed Guni was born in a Damawa state, and it has taken ages from people in a Damawa state and other parts of the country to accept and appreciate his special gift that God has given him to help people. A lot of people are still amazed to see such wonders happen and grant their heart's desires. It is in this view that we paid a visit to Hajja Aisha, Malam Muhammad's mother in his hometown in Adamawa state and she narrated the story of when she was pregnant with Al Hassan. The kind of strange experiences she had only goes to show that Malam is a special gift from God. One of such experiences was on a certain day, she was carrying him on her back and all of a sudden he appeared in front of her and when she checked behind, he wasn't there. She then carried him and wondered what just happened. Also, when he became a little boy, he went to the farm with his father to get grains. They harvested 20 bags of grains, but it multiplied to 50 to 100 bags of grains. Whenever the father is going to the market, if he tells his dad good luck, certainly he will have good sales. There was a strange thing that happened when they were sleeping. Suddenly, they saw light that shone like gold around little Al Hassan Mohammed Goni's lips. This was when he was about five to six years old. It happened only in the night, and during the day, it wouldn't appear. On a fateful day, the house at Numan Jalingo collapsed and Malam Al Hassan was inside the house. When they came to rescue him, they discovered that nothing had happened to him to their amazement. Whenever his father was going to the market to sell his doors and windows because his father was a carpenter, he would ask his dad for money. If his dad gave him money, his dad will make sales. If he didn't give him money and refuses, he won't make sales. Malam Al Hassan Mohammed Guni was a peaceful child, never troublesome. And the kind of wonders he performs all over the country is mind blowing. In the little history we just heard about Malam, there is nobody that has such record of what he does. This kind of miracles he performs and with the way he keeps helping people. However, in an interview with Malam Al Hassan Mohammed Guni, this is what he tells us. The kind of miracle and help I render to people is not only for humans but also for animals. I do not differentiate if you are a Christian or a Muslim. I don't work with anything apart from my Quran, my praying beads and water. The water is the healing power and when the water touches you, you get healed except you don't have a religion. If you do, it will surely work. There is no type of sickness that you bring to me that I do not cure. Sometimes I come across people who don't really know what is wrong with them or trying to become someone great in life or maybe things are not going well 
in this person's life. Whatever position people are looking for, no matter how big the problem is, by the grace of God, I will handle it. I have been to different parts of the country and even outside the country to perform miracles. In some places I go, if they are lacking water, either borehole or tap water, I help them get water when I perform the miracles. Also, there was a time I was invited to a school to help the students excel in their studies. Because they were having poor grades in school, I asked them to provide water, which they did. I used it on the students and afterwards the story changed for good. It was excellent grades all the way. I don't operate with evil spirits and everything I do is documented. Whenever people come to me without them mentioning what is wrong with them, I already know. He added by saying, a preacher is not supposed to discriminate peoples and if I see a preacher doing such, I will believe that the preacher has been paid to do that. My kind of work is different from another person. I do what I do for the sake of God and not for money. God blesses me when I heal people and they show me appreciation by their own free will and I believe it's God's favor on me. Malam Al Hassan Mohammed Goni also added that everybody has different challenges that they face in life, but whenever people come to me and they are not being honest about their problems, whatever healing I render to them will not work because they are being dishonest. The water you see me use, people bring by themselves, and it is only when I begin to sprinkle it on them that the healing starts and it is not by my power, but of God. <laughs> Malam al Hassan Goni's greatest joy is to see people happy with what he does for them. He calls on prominent Nigerians to help him actualize his dream by giving him the necessary support in order for him to continue to touch lives. Malam is also willing to support the federal government in attaining a sustainable development for the country Nigeria through his special gift and by the power of God. Even to him, he still ponders on the kind of powers he has and who he really is. Sheikh Mohammed Al Hassan Goni also has the ability to provide gold, pure steel, or metallic jewelry by his special gift from God, who has given him the chance, courage, and privilege among the people of the world and at this time. Present in any type of environment, Sheikh Al Hassan Mohammed Goni seeks to bring solutions to challenges of that environment. It could be an open field or a fully built area. All I just need to do is put my hands together and by God's grace, solutions are provided, says the Sheikh. Sheikh Kuni hopes to be invited to any community suffering from inadequate or impure water that he might have the honor or chance to put the community among the water-endowed communities. This he can do only by his God's given grace as God is the creator of all things. He can therefore make all things possible. As for Sheikh Muhammad Al Hassan Guni, all he needs to do is to make supplications to Allah and pray fervently and the greatly anticipated solution will meet its service.
His gifts are not only restricted to the provision of water and precious metals from the ground, they also include exorcism, the spiritual art of chasing away evil and its influence on humans. Knowing very well that the human being needs freedom, liberty and well-being as such, it is his inherent right to obtain these. I cast out evil in people houses, or any environment as the will of God in my life prescribes. The criteria for successful treatment is honesty to self and to the healer, Sheikh Mohammed Al-Hassan Guni. This he postulates as the channel that carries the power of the favor of God unto the recipients. He also adds that these methods are not any of a mystical traditional therapy but a gift of God which enables him to tap into the natural secret powers that pervades Allah's universe. His method is simple, transparent and more so an injunction from the Holy Quran. He says, in the name of Allah the beneficial the merciful, all praise due to Allah the Lord of the world, the beneficial, the merciful, master of the day of judgment, I, Malam al-Hassan Muhammad Goni, known as wonders of anointing water. Firstly, I would like to remind us of the words of Allah in the glorious Quran. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who believe in the unseen and keep up praying and spend out of what we have given them and who believe in that which has been revealed and that which was revealed before thee are sure of the hereafter. In this case, I would like to clarify myself as wonders of anointing water. My medicine is natural water, followed by a supplication ayat. I wish to help my fellow faithful who are with the afflictions earlier mentioned. The only ones that may not be cured are those who according to Islam are referred to as hypocrites, those whose hearts and tongues are not pure. Such are considered to have illness in their soul and in their thinking. The greatest sin that can present itself among humans. Separation from him is calmness and becoming a person with two faces. In the Surah Al-Baqarah of the Glorious Quran verse 186, Allah says, Those who answer my call and submit faith to me may by the will be guided. For sure, Allah is wise, seeing, the hearer and the knower of whatsoever we are doing. I, Sheikh Al Hassan Mohammed Goni, wonders of anointing water, never fight and do not want to fight. I never cheat and I don't have to cheat. I also don't like cheaters by my side. May Allah guide us. I, Sheikh Al Hassan Mohammed Goni, love all and I have the intention to help any person with illness and I promise to help my followers with calmness and composure as taught by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Even in the case of missing persons, many times out of many, these problems are from spiritual evil. I take this medium to inform all whose persons are missing 
that I can take care of these problem by casting the evil out of their families. God's mercy on me has enabled me to treat all human beings so long as the criteria of honesty to me and to their self are met. Is met. I only use water as my medicine and verbal utterances in prayers. Which works wonders. I would like to also use this medium to warn unsuspecting Nigerians not to indulge anyone who comes up to them in the guise of being my successor. I do not have a successor and I am not teaching anyone at this time as my student. This is only for the reason that I was not taught any of what I do. I only came upon this gift and as such it cannot be transferred by teaching it. So, if anyone comes across anyone who claims to be my student or successor, or whoever parades himself claiming to sell water as medicine from the gifted or dambaiwa, please get such a person arrested and contact me as quickly as possible for extreme investigation. With all that has been said, you can get in touch with Malam Al Hassan Mohammed Goni on this number 0803 367 6782 and for inquiries call 0813 491 8839 or 0809 37 3312. The lines are always open and you can also contact him on his email on Malam Al Hassan Goni 77 at gmail.com or on his YouTube. Malam Al Hassan Mohammed Guni. You can also visit Malam at his house. Thank you for listening. I'm
Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu I'm <laughs>
ربنا اعطينا بالدنيا
ولكن <تصفيق>
Insha Allah ya rika binki kenan kaman kaman kariya Kuba Lokacin <laughs> Thank you.